Hi, so as you can see, uh, we've had the repainting done. Um, we didn't get the same color. This is um, gray, this is like proper gray. Anyway, that's not the focus um, of this video. Now, when you're having your electrical works done for your building project, there are two important aspects which you shouldn't take for granted. One of them is installing an earth electrode, that is the earth rod. And then the second one is also installation of uh, Tanda conductor that is what we know we know as a Tanda rod now I'll tell you why so the first one which is um, at electrode or at rod uh, the purpose of it is that when you have an excessive um, current passing through your um, that is your electrical system um, it goes through this um, at um, electrode which goes into the the soil so the earth electrode or the earth rod is mostly buried in the soil there's a uh, the proper copper one which is recommended you dig to a certain point and then you uh, pin the earth rod and there's it so that once there's any excessive current in your electrical wiring and the rest then it goes through the earth rod so it doesn't damage your appliances so that is one and then the purpose of the tender conductor is also um, when you have thunder strikes, lightning and the rest, especially thunder strikes, um, it's able to contain the strike and then it will channel the electricity current to the earth. So that is also the purpose of the thunder um, conductor. So if you don't have the thunder conductor, maybe you find yourself in, at a place where there's a lot of uh, thunder strikes, especially when it's about to rain and the rest, then you might sometimes find yourself wanting when the um, excessive current, you know, damaging your appliances such as TV and whatever might be on. If you don't have your breakers unable to trigger, you know, um, this like themselves off to be able to prevent that. So yeah, um, why am I saying this? Because um, just recently I had uh, an experience which uh, has been an eye opening and it's very good. Like I share with you um, about that. That has to do with um, just uh, not so long ago, we had some rains over here. It rained heavily, and then um, when it was, you know, the rain was about settling. The thunder, there was thunder, and there was one loud thunder that occurred. And when it occurred, the electricity of the house just went off. Like the solar system just went off. That is the inverter. The inverter just went off. So I was, I was, I was like, wow, it doesn't look like my inverter is damaged because that's expensive. I bought it like around three thousand three hundred at then. Now it's going to be about four thousand five thousand cities because of the hikes in prices of, um, you know, most of these devices. So I was, I was worried um, when that happened, but I just decided to exercise patience. I consulted one of my friends who, as an engineer, and told him about the situation, and then he asked if there was a smell from the. Um, inverter honestly because of what had happened i thought i smelled uh, i was smelling something but uh, um, later on i realized there wasn't any smell so i told him yeah there was a bit of smell but i'm waiting for the rains to calm down so i disconnected everything and then opened the inverter to see if there's anything that is damaged and it. so i waited for the rains to settle everything uh, came down then i decided to disconnect the inverter so i took off the battery pack i took off the um the panel cables and I opened the inverter but I noticed there wasn't any like um, damage parts or component of it so that was like a good sign so then I decided to reconnect especially the battery pack to see if it was going to work lo and behold when I did connect it back it worked so I was like some sigh of relief um, as of then then I connected the panels cable back and that also worked so what apparently happened was that when there was the thunder jam that you know very loud time that um strike um it, it got into the inverter how did it get into the inverter you know the panels are carrying electricity into the inverter so then uh it got through the panels traveled through the um the cables of the panels into the inverter now that was excessive current or electricity that was flowing and it so what happened was that it got to the inverter to go off now ideally if we hadn't gone um, gotten it um, electrode installed it would have damaged the inverter but because the inverter had gone off um the excess excessive electricity was able to uh, was channeled into the earth i remember somebody saying that because i'm using solar there was no point in installing like uh, 
uh, that is the earth electrode. So I'm sure you you might you know in this situation you are wrong with that um, assumption that because I'm not connected to the grid where sometimes the electricity current is not predictable and the rest there's no need for it. Now that is totally wrong. If I hadn't gotten it installed for this, that is the earth electrode or earth rod installed for this, my inverter would have been damaged and I would have had to purchase a new one. So that is very important to take into consideration, especially when you're having your electrical works being done. So aside from that, I'm sure you might be wondering now, what is the way forward? So the way forward now is also to have an installation of the thunder conductor or the thunder rod which will be mounted on top of the building. That is the where you have the pyramid, the very peak of the pyramid. And then the um, the rod, that is the tip, thunder tip is going to be channeled or passed through the side of the wall, from the roofing to the side of the wall. And then an earth electrode is going to be installed in the earth. Now I think there's a resistor and other components which are going to be added to it. Now that is going to take me some time to do because I made an inquiry um, of what it was going to cost to do that. And it was going to cost me about 2,500 cities because of the components that were going to be used as well as uh, workmanship so my electrician said he was going to be taking 300 cities for that but uh, all the appliances or all the devices that are going to be used are going to cause a total of 2200 as and now so if i am not quick to get the money or the funds to do that it means that maybe the next time i might be ready the prices are going to go up and yeah you know recent change in prices every now and then so that's what i wanted to share with you whenever you're having your electrical system designed or your electrical part of a building design try as much as possible to include air electrode it's not so expensive to install air electrode because it's really going to save you a lot especially if you're connected to the national grid or even if you're using solar you never know you might experience something like what i did experience and your inverter or maybe your devices or appliances may be damaged at the end of the day so that is just about it for this video thank you very much for watching in case you are new kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one